Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud Climber, an atmospheric story driven, um, rather short game but it looks rather atmospheric and fun. Uh, it's by Two Star Games and I thought I would um, give it a go. I don't really know what I'm getting into but I'm sure I'll find out pretty pretty soon. Another day has arrived. I had best get my water before going to work. I may need to get to the neighbouring tower in the future, but I know the other builders keep the entrance to the bridge locked. I saw a key on the table at the top of our tower a few weeks ago before I went to get more building supplies. I haven't been up in a few days, so I'll need to check if it unlocks the bridge door. If the other towers ever become vacant, I might need to get across, so I have to keep this in mind. Okay, so we've got a chest key. That's giving us a bucket. What do you check that? Nothing else we can do in here per se. Can't seem to get out that way. Can, however, get out this way. Construction on the last tower stopped weeks ago. I can only assume that the builders have met their fate by now. I believe it's safe enough for me to go and continue building higher yet from where they left off. I'll need to travel across the other two towers to get there, but I'm sure I can find a way. Okay, so perhaps some form of apocalypse? Well, something's happened that means that not many people are left and the builders started dying. Bernie the Great and Terrible, Diary, page 69. For months we've been building faster than ever. Yet it seems as if every time we complete a new level, the clouds raise higher and higher. I could have sworn we were close to them decades ago, but we're still not done yet. I can only hope that we're getting close. It's a very pretty game. Lots of diaries. I've been building all day long, and Bernie, the great and terrible, has been sitting on his butt, acting as foreman. Also known as he doesn't do any work and drinks all our water. I've started locking my water chest just in case he really does think he's above us all. Something to do with water. Why has water created an issue? Something to do with water has caused issues. And I wonder perhaps what it is. Oh, that's a very pretty sun flare and you can just about see another tower. In the distance over there, that door doesn't want to open. Okay, I guess we can only go higher and higher. Ooh, pretty game. Very pretty game. Um, so, we do have, of course, all these other towers. That's where all the builders died, apparently. That's all we can do is climb up this now. Or not. How do we climb up ladders? Ham. Yeah. Can't pick up the ham, but we can pick up this key. Bridge door key. Okay. Let's go back down here. Now that we've got a key, we might be able to get somewhere. Like in here, wonderful. Ooh, smiley face out of bricks, that's nice. Let's, um,. Let's get a screenshot of that, because that's pretty. <laughs> I can't believe today is the 100th anniversary of our tower. I know others have been building much longer, and I wish our grandparents had taken this whole thing more seriously. 100 years ago they decided things were getting dangerous, but why didn't they see the problem 200 years ago, or even longer? I'm still glad they started building, but I just wish we had seen this coming. What has happened? It's and been quite some time since I was on the second tower. I haven't crossed this bridge since the builders became greedy and took the supplies that were meant to come to our tower. Just like all the other towers, its inhabitants quickly grew desperate and aggressive. Now it stands empty. The fact I can't see down suggests that something maybe has happened on the floor and maybe towers are built to escape from it? It's not overly clear, but clearly something's happened to cause 
all these things to go to go wrong. Makes you wonder what has happened. I guess I knew this day would come, but I didn't expect it to come this soon. Yesterday we started extreme rationing of our water. A few days back we stopped getting supplies from the ground crew on our lift. We can only assume that they stole the supplies themselves. Ran out of water and food sources or simply died. If we don't get into the clouds soon we might need to see if we can get some from one of the neighbouring towers. Okay, so yeah, as I suspected something's clearly happened at the bottom sort of in, in, in the world generally for things to go wrong and I wonder what that is clearly something's gone wrong I haven't got the key to this chest okay let's just make sure we're not missing anything we can see other towers in the distance but that's about it wouldn't it be ironic if, rain, if it rained now after decades of building now would be the perfect time since we've just started rationing our supplies once again. But I have a good feeling about things. I know I've never seen rain myself, but Grandmother always told me how wonderful it felt. It'd be so surreal to be on the ground and see water for miles instead of desert and wasteland. I'm sure it'll rain someday. We just need to survive till then. Okay, so it's just that the ground has kind of been encapsulated in... in maybe dust or a sandstorm and they're up here trying to maybe gain more, gather water from the clouds but it's not overly clear. I installed a rope cart on this level to get to the third tower. I should be able to use it to get across. Okay, well let's not, let's not hurry across just yet. We've still got more to explore in this tower. As I feel that once one gets across one can't get back. Um, there's something over here. A couple of saws, but it doesn't seem we can interact with them. Okay, we can't... Oh, we might be able to get further up, actually. Let's head up. Nothing up here apart from a very nice view of the apocalypse or whatever's happened at these these quote-unquote tower blocks. I mean, they're not really tower blocks, but... Something has clearly gone wrong here. Although the, the, the sun is very pretty, although I'd imagine rather hot as well. And you wonder what, what caused it all? Why did, why did things go wrong? And across we go. I could almost call this place beautiful if these dust storms weren't so suffocating. I agree. I think it's very beautiful. But, only, but not if you're dying. If you're dying, it's not the best thing in the world. I hope I find what I'm looking for at the fourth tower. And what are we looking for at the fourth tower, I wonder? A hammer we can't interact with and another diary or note? Yesterday, Hadang fell off the tower. I don't know what happened, but it was a shame. Especially since he had the key to most of our water chests. We'll need to break the locked ones open soon, since we've always emptied out the other chests. Okay, so it suggests that why there's no other people is due to the lack of water. I couldn't be more frustrated right now. We're running out of water, running out of building supplies, and Carl just won't get along with me. At least five times a day he pretends he's going to push me off the tower. I swear, if I do fall someday, it'll be his fault. Ooh. So this note suggests that actually, while he fell off the tower, it could be Carl pushed him, maybe eager to get some of the water for himself. It's not overly clear, but clearly people are taking, people are doing what they can to, to get the water, and no, you know, no matter the cost, whatever happens, they're gonna they're gonna get the water. I can't. So this is Carl's diary. I just can't get over it. Hadan gives the absolute best reactions when I mess with him. For the past week I've been pretending to get mad and shove my arms at him, as if to push him off the tower. I don't think this will ever get old, I can tell Hadan loves it. I don't know if Hadan does love it, if I'm honest, Carl. But maybe Carl is sort of dehydrated and isn't thinking properly due to the lack of water generally. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of 
a lot of questions and not a whole lot of answers. So here's the fourth bridge. Looks like I'll need to fix this bridge. So we just find some planks. Where can we find some planks? Are th these are planks, there we go. Do we need a saw? Probably not. But we've got a stack of planks, that should hopefully be enough to get us across. There we go, a stack of planks was used. But we're going to head on to the fourth tower now. It's hard to believe that I'm the last one here. I never thought it would end like this. Makes you wonder what the whole point was in the first place. Point is surviving. A note of our ambition. A note of ambition, even. Out of everyone on this earth, our families were the only one who took the water crisis seriously. We were the ones who started building. We were mocked and told we were insane. We were the ones who everyone looked up to when the lakes and rivers dried up. Our blueprints were the one that were stolen as people became desperate. Out of everyone on this earth, we are the ones who deserve to survive. The clouds are brimming with liquid life, but are still so evasive. We've been building for a long time, but we're not done yet. We have farther to go. We will climb the clouds. The son of Zilkar. Well, there's another note on this table, so let's read this one. This evening, Kevin made a really cheesy speech about how we alone will prevail and how we're the only descendants of the great ones who deserve life. It was honestly the cringiest speech I've ever heard, and that's really saying a lot considering the other stuff he's been saying lately. He also keeps referring to himself in the third person, and only responds to us if we call him Son of Zilkar. Okay, so again, um, Kevin maybe being dehydrated and starting to go a bit crazy due to the lack of water. It also begs the question, who are we? Are we Kevin? Are we Carl? Who knows? But all we can do is climb further further up the tower. It seems that we're reaching the end of what ever awaits us at the very top here. More stuff we can't... Oh, we can interact with the saw and the hammer. That makes me slightly concerned. And some planks. Okay. Further and further we go up to the top. Ah, we're going to build some steps up for ourselves. Okay. Let's see what we need to do here. Nearly that. And here we are. This place really is beautiful, even with the dust storms. It's peaceful in a way. I've been working on that tower my whole life and never once stopped to appreciate what we spent our lives building. Only looked up to the clouds, hoping we'd someday reach them so we could prolong our lives. But now that everyone's gone, I know any attempt I might make at accomplishing that would be futile. Rather than spending the rest of my life building a tower, maybe it's time I took a break. It's been a long time, but I think I'm finally done. Rain. Well, how about that? We had rain. After going through all those people who slightly went mad or might have gone mad, um, or you know, the lack of water caused people to turn on each other, it's still not overly clear. Just as perhaps things were about to take a slightly darker turn, we might have been about to give up all hope. Rain has started. 
and that allows us to continue living, continue thriving in what is you undoubtedly a rather inhospitable landscape. But um, that is all for Cloud Climber. It's a, very much a short game, just a short little atmospheric walkthrough game. But sometimes I enjoy that, sometimes I like sort of thinking about things and learning about things. So this has been Cloud Climber by Two Star Games. Um, very fun, I'll put a link in the description to uh, their website or, or to, the, to this game, Cloud Climber, um, on Steam. And yes, this is this has been all for today. I just thought I'd play this as it looked rather fun, and, and, I, and I enjoy atmospheric games and stories, and so I thought I'd give this a go. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.